there's no reason to have to go to a coffee shop to buy great biscotti. I think we should all make our own biscotti right at home. It's actually much better and it's fresh from your kitchen. It's simple and delicious. Today we're going to make the best biscotti. To start we're going to cream 2 tablespoons of butter and 2 eggs. As you notice, I'm not using an electric mixer to cream these components. I'm just using the back of a wooden spoon to scrape the butter and soften it around the sides of the bowl. Then I added my eggs. And now one cup of sugar. Sometimes I think it's fun just to go back to the basics and use a wooden spoon and mixing bowl. Mix in the cup of sugar until well incorporated. You'll have chunks of butter since you're not using a mixer, but that's okay. Just use the back of your spoon to kind of beat them against the side and get rid of them. Next I'm going to add the zest of half an orange. I had a clementine left over from the holidays, and if you have some of that, that will work just fine. Or use an orange. Then a tablespoon of cream. I'm using half and half because it's what I had on hand. You can of course use cream or milk also. And a tablespoon of honey. I'm using an organic local raw honey. Mix all that in until well incorporated. And now a pinch of salt. It just has to be a quarter of a teaspoon about if you want to check. After all that's well incorporated, I'm switching over to a spatula just so I can easier scrape the sides of the bowl. And now I'm adding a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, and two teaspoons of vanilla. This is going to give great flavor to the biscotti and really balance out with the zest of the orange. Mix that in. Now add in one and three quarter cup of flour. Add the juice of the orange or clementine you zested. If you're doing a large orange, I would only do about half of it. Fold in one and a half cups of nuts. I like to use almonds, especially the slivered almonds, and I lightly toast them in a 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes until they become fragrant. This just further flavors the biscotti. It's not needed, but the almonds definitely are. You could also use a walnut or any other type of nut, but almonds are great in this one. And finally, one cup of dried fruit. I like to use a mixture of apricots, figs, dried cranberries, kind of whatever you have on hand. Dried apricots and almonds seem to go extra well together. Today I'm using a mixture of some dried figs, dried apricots, and dried cranberries. I think it's going to go great with the almonds and orange. As you can see, the stove becomes quite pasty and thick, but that's exactly what you want. Once it's all well incorporated, we're going to place this on two pans lined with either parchment paper or silicone pads like I'm using. You want to place it on the pans and shape it into 14 inch long logs, approximately 2 to 3 inches across, depending how long you want each biscotti. We're going to bake the logs, then cut them horizontally and that's going to create that iconic biscotti shape that you know. Then lay them on their side and bake them a little longer just to dry them out. After you have them shaped and ready, just place them into a 350 degree oven for 30 minutes. I'm going to switch them about halfway through since I have to have them on two pans. Then we'll cut them and bake them a little bit longer. Once the biscotti are baked for 30 minutes, you'll notice that they're lightly golden on the bottom and just slightly colored on the top. You want to take them out and slide them onto a cutting board. And then I slice them on a diagonal about 3 quarter inch slices. Lay each slice on the baking pan that you just took them off of. 
you can see they're already starting to look like biscotti and they smell delicious. You see all those wonderful chunks of fruit and almonds. Mmm, can't wait to eat these. Slice both logs and put them right back into the oven. Change the temperature to 325 degrees and bake them for anywhere from 12 to 18 minutes longer. You don't want them to get too dark, but you do want them to dry out more here in the oven, have that great crunch, and always great for dipping in coffee. When these come out of the oven, they are golden brown and smell amazing. If you're having a bad day, this is the perfect end, a cup of coffee and a piece of fresh biscotti to dunk in it. If you want to dress these up for your gifts or for guests, you can dip half of it or drizzle it with chocolate, but I think you're going to like it just as it is. Simple, amazing, the best biscotti you've ever had.